Shalom, shalom, everyone, and Chodesh Tov, happy new moon of Tevet, happy Hanukkah. Uh, it's the sixth day of Hanukkah, and we're in the new moon of Tevet. It's the, um, we're in the darkest nights of the year right now as we're coming into the, the final days of Hanukkah. Um, welcome to Earth and Fire, Wilderness Torah's Hanukkah online series, and it is a delight to be with you all. Uh, and it is a delight today to uh, welcome Rabbi Sarah Leah Schley. Several days ago. And just that we see the rabbis taught us that the core mitzvah of Hanukkah is that there be a lamp or a candle for each person and the household. So the minimum requirement is really one candle for Han each day of Hanukkah in each home. We've expanded that greatly. Um, a little bit about the word mitzvah, because it'll be relevant to the rest of our teaching today. The word mitzvah is we generally translated as commandment or precept or instruction, but there's a little bit of hiddenness in the in the word mitzvah, which is that um, the, the tzadi and the vav, which are the two middle words, uh, the two middle letters, also connect to a word litzvot or tzavot or tzavet, which means a unit or joining. And so the way I think of mitzvah, when I translate this word, is a sacred practice that connects us that connects us maybe upward, downward, to the earth, to the, to, the, to the heavens, to each other. It's not just that we're commanded to do something, but that we're invited into a sacred practice that is a connecting, connecting practice. So, so clearly from the, very, from the beginning of Hanukkah, which is actually a rabbinic holiday, it's not a holiday that's found in the Torah itself. Um, the candle or the lamp or the fire is primary. It's the primary mitzvah, the primary spiritual practice, which is to light this fire, light this candle. Um, we learned, as I think Zelig mentioned, that in, in the second book of Maccabees, that the first Hanukkah, um, the, the rededication of the, of the temple happened, and it happened uh, at a time of year, this dark time of year, and people realized that, oh my gosh, we're in the temple, but we never did Sukkot. We never had Sukkot. And that's one of the reasons that's given for Hanukkah being an eight-day hol holiday, because we couldn't celebrate Sukkot when it was supposed to be celebrated, because the temple was not available to us. The uh, Abu Kot Shal Or, um, the, the torches of light, and they would sing songs and praises, and there'd be lots of music. So that's the, the, the connection of fire to Sukkot, and then from Sukkot to Hanukkah. So we've got Two layers of fire now that we've got. We've got the the um, connection to the temple practice, and we've got the the candle that we're lighting on Hanukkah. And finally, um, we ask what what can what does come in the Torah in the Bible, and what is the what is the fire that is there that we are tapping into at at Sukkot. Um, and these are verses that I know Zelig is very. Um, delighted to teach frequently. The fire and the altar, this is a sacrificial altar, is to be kept blazing. It must never go out. And then it says, then, which is not a, not the, it, it's an tamid, it's a continual fire, a fire that's continuously lit. And tamid is to be kept blazing on the altar and it's never to go out. So, um, so fire is not a stranger to Hanukkah. In fact, it's the primary, I, it's pr probably the primary element of the earth elements, earth, air, water, um, air, fire for Hanukkah, although earth is, connecting to earth is, is a critical aspect of this, as you've learned from Rabbi Dan and from Zelig um, during this week. Filote 